Okay, try to keep the mind gathered together. So the little bits and pieces don't go wandering off, because when they start wandering off, then they pull their friends, and pretty soon the whole mind is gone along with them. When they say that the mind is one when it gets in concentration, in the beginning the way to make it one is to give it one object, and then all the activities of the mind, the different thinking, perceptions, feelings about things, gather them around that one topic. So there'll be a lot of activities, but it all work together on one thing. If any of them break off, then, as I said, they pull off their friends. So think about the breath. Be very careful about it. how you image the breath to yourself. When you breathe in, what do you think is happening? What picture does your mind create? And then have part of the mind keep guard to make sure that the other parts don't wander off. This way the mind really can gather into one, because that's the meaning of the word egakata, which the Buddha used to describe concentration. And agga is a meeting place, and we have one meeting place. Everything gets together right here. So there may be the sound of music in the background, but that's not where you're focused. You're focused on the breath, how, you're, how you feel the body from within. When you do that, then the mind can settle down. And then some of those activities can calm down. But you need to maintain that watchfulness, because when things get quiet, it's very easy for the mind to get sleepy, or drift off. So this quality of alertness is always there, to keep watch on the mind, keep watch on the breath. Make sure that everything stays together. And that way, instead of simply resting, the mind gets to rest its, some of its activities, and other activities get exercised. The activities of mindfulness, alertness, your ardency, your desire to do this really well, they get exercised and they get strengthened. So even though part of the mind rests, another part of the mind is doing its work. And the parts that are doing the work are the parts that are going to be helpful in all your activities. So keep with them. Otherwise, your concentration turns into what the Buddha calls stump concentration. Excuse me, not the Buddha. The, the Johns call stump concentration. We sit there like a stump, without any, without any awareness at all. That doesn't accomplish much. It's like sleeping. You get some rest, but you don't get any exercise. So make sure that the mindfulness and alertness and your ardency do get exercised. They're the ones that are carrying, lifting the heavy weights and carrying the burdens for you. And as they learn how to do it better and better with the meditation, then they'll be better and better in all your activities in life.